Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and today we're going to answer the age-old question, or maybe just a few years. Someone actually asked me a long time ago, uh, can you put too many hops in beer? No. Oh. <laughs> and so, as my friend Mike here drinks and smells what I put in front of him, I'll tell you a little story about what we have here. This is a uh, German lager style. I uh, use probably as a five-gallon batch, uh, 11 pounds of uh, German Pilsner malt, and uh, the yeast strain I used was White Labs WLP 830. Uh, a nice mighty starter was, was produced before I, I brewed this. And then, because I had a very large amount of homegrown hops, all of them, all of them, all of them went into this beer. And I'm talking next to <laughs> two pounds of hops right at the whole, start. Whole cone. Whole cone. <laughs> two pounds of hops. Just trying to use them up. Dude, because I had them in my freezer and some were over a year old. And I said to myself, this is such a waste. What am I going to do with all of these hops? And so yeah. we're going to push the envelope on this beer. We're going to make a lager, so the hop taste is going to be <laughs> a little muted. <laughs> but it's going to be a big smackdown of spicy, hoppy, I don't know. We'll say tremendousness okay. for now. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so, and the thing is, because they were old, and who knows that they could have been a little cheesy, Put that, like, at least give me some kudos on the color. Yeah, I did. Yeah, all right. You already did that? All right, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll do, do it again. again. We'll do it again. Hey, look, I didn't see it when you did it. Well. Um, yeah, next time I'll pay attention. I get you it. You don't have to pay attention. Uh, but, so anyway, my, my, my train of thought was, look, I need to boil the heck out of all these hops. And so there weren't any late additions. There was no this is just flavor a, This is a big 60-minute <laughs> explosion. Yep, and see what happens. And, like, awesome. I knew that it was not going to be a great beer, but I wanted to see what would happen. And and I just didn't want to waste the hops, you know? The, the worst thing I yeah. could do is, after you've taken all this time to plant your rhizomes and grow your cones, and then take the time to harvest them and dry them and then store them and then not use them, to throw them out in the backyard, just, uh, it, it broke my heart. So, they were used for this. All right, Mr. Mike, <laughs> what do you think of this? Well, it's interesting. On the aroma right off the bat at first, um, I really, I'm not getting like a hop aroma. Oh, I was no. getting a, a, you know, a, a, Soft, a lager, a little bit of sulfur, um, you know, somewhat, somewhat, I was sort of getting some of the Pilsner malt, but yeah, not really. The Pilsner malt really isn't expressing itself a whole lot. I got a little bit, at first, I don't smell it anymore, but I'll explain that in a minute. Okay. Um, I got like a little bit of um, green apple. In the aroma at first, yeah. but anyway, aside from that though, I mean, it's almost crystal clear. Um, it's been lagering for a bit yeah. too. Um, but so then I took the first sip, I was like, oh, this is hot. This, this, okay, so there's, you're saying there's a lot of hops in here. And as that first sip went down, I was like, yeah, well, there's a, that's, there's a lot of hop there. It's a lot of flavor, but mm. then it just, as I swallowed it and it's resolving itself, it's like bitter. Yeah. Bitter. Yeah. It just keeps coming on. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> It's like when you um, ha when you had your very first like really genuinely spicy curry, mm. and you take that first bite and go, okay. "Oh yeah, that's spicy," and you you swallow it and it's like <laughs> it spicy. Just keeps coming. So it just keeps coming. Um, so yeah, um, it lingers. That's the, for sure. It definitely lingers. I can still on the back of my the roof of my mouth actually can still feel sense the bitterness, but it's not like um, you know it reminds me of some of the beers that um, to be honest, I'll just say this. Because I'm not ashamed. Um, it reminds me of some of the stone beers mm. of like the late '90s that mm. were basically just bitter. Yeah. Without much character. Mm. Um, I don't care what anybody says. Those beers were just bitter for the sake of being bitter, mm. but without a lot of character. Got it. Um, so there's a lot of bitterness here. Um, I don't know if I get. There's a little bit of um, noble-like spice character to it, yeah. but, but it's mostly just bitter hops. I think the thing that's saving with this, this beer is drinkable. Yeah. Um, the thing that saves you is that they're probably, because there's some age in the hops and because they're homegrown hops, maybe their total out facet is somewhat less yes. than if you did two pounds of like 
true on like you know real uh, magnum hops it yeah. has like alpha acids in the teens right yeah i mean mm -hmm. i this was a combination of mount hood and magnum a uh, combination of what i had left over from yeah. my brother's harvest yep. and mine and so that's what i got my pal's definitely adjusted to the to the bitterness level mm. since the first couple sips um so it's not as jarring although swallowing it there's a lot of grass yeah and again, it's really the roof of the mouth is mm. where, I, yep. where it lingers mm. on the back soft palate of the, the roof of my mouth. Um, it's grassy and it's uh, not really vegetal, but it's grass is the way to put it. Yeah. No, it's almost like there's like a, I want to say it's not in taste, but a tar-like quality, like a stickiness. It's uh, like a, a some film, the, it's like some a the resin. Film. It's the resin. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, there's a resinous resin quality is, to it. It's tough. And it's 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 definitely lingering and staying on. I think that you know what the funny thing is, is it makes you drink more of it, not because you're enjoying it, because you're trying to like drink it away. Like you're trying to like, oh, I'll just wash it down. <laughs> nope. And you're like just adding to the problem. Ah, it's still gonna, yeah, it's adding like well, I bought problem. I bought this bowl of curry. I'm just gonna I'm just keep gonna, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. yeah, or you buy that that like the ten hot wings, and they're hotter than you expected. Yeah. Like I'm, I gotta get through this. You know, <laughs> I think this one. This is a little warm. Um, I mean, I say a little warm. It's probably yeah. I don't know, like mid forties Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, but anyway, like when it's ice cold, I think it's it's definitely <laughs> more. Yeah. Of course, that it's, makes sense. Yeah. But it's easier to drink yeah. then, and it's actually uh, refreshing. But the fermentation character um, is pretty good, aside from that original aroma of a little yeah. bit of green appleius, but I don't taste it at all, and it's it's definitely, I don't smell it anymore no, either. No, and I, I wonder but, if But I probably don't smell it because I've, that that retro nasal part of my palate now is destroyed yeah. by the um, by the quality of the hop yeah. character. So there you go. Uh, it's not bad, I mean, if you really, I if it was cold in the glass and hot outside, you know, Drinking one of these would probably not be the end of the world. You know what this? You know what this probably could use? A little calcium chloride specifically in here. Yeah. To soften it up. Yeah. Might loosen that all up mm. a little bit. It's an interesting experiment. Yeah. Well, <laughs> one experiment at a time. One experiment at a time. <laughs> when I knew that it was like. Yeah. I was. No, but some people. Some people actually put it in the glass. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's something that I've been meaning to try. We should. We'll try sometime on camera, but. Um, well, we, we can do that sometime. But okay. anyway, just to sort of soften it a little bit. But there are stories of like the old timers um, putting table salt in their beer. Huh. Yep. Um, it, like Coors Bud and mit, like putting a little, like a shaker of salt on the bar top and putting some salt in their beer. And to soften, soften it, it up? To soften it The chloride Got softens it. up the, the character. Well. Believe it or not, Mike, I have plenty of this left. <laughs> Super. <laughs> we can try all kinds of weird things. Beautiful. <laughs> See what, what we can do to make it a little more drinkable. <sighs> not as bad as I thought um, you were, how you were going to react because no. it was, um, you know, I mean, I knew that it was, I, I was pushing it so I would have something that probably wasn't going to be pleasant, um, but we got we got through a lot of this. I'm, I'm pretty proud of us. Yeah. So, anyway, I don't know if that totally answers, like, is there anything, like, too many, let's put it this way, you can put way too many hops at the beginning of the boil in your home brew recipe. Yeah. Um, almost two pounds of homegrown I'm hops, sure hard to say. I'm sure there are people who is. would probably dig this. So. Yeah, because they're, that's how their palate is, uh, yeah. sort of pointed Anybody through. who ever gave, like, Dogfish Head 120 more than two stars would be into this beer. <laughs> okay. There you go. So for all you out there who did that, bring on the haters. Yeah, <laughs> this guy, not me. I made a beer for you. So, all right. So there you go. Is there any way that you can put too many hops in the beer? Well, I tried, and we still were able to drink it. So for John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.